Hi guys, it's Wynabel here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a pressure plate so that when you step down on it or something lands on it, uh, it completes the circuit and the alarm goes off. So uh, you'll need a few materials that you should have around your house. Only just a small piece of cardboard, you know, like uh, just this big, pretty small. You'll need a uh, wire stripper. If you're good, you can use scissors, but it's harder. You'll need tin foil. You'll need scissors. You'll need a hot glue gun. Um, you'll need some thin foam. This just came from uh, some sort of. I think they were shipping fruit. And this one is. And you also need some wire. So let's show you how to make it. So the first thing you should do is you should cut all your materials to size. So um, you're, this is pretty much uh, by two. You need two lengths of wire, like uh, at least a foot long, but as long as you want. Um, you're going to take your cardboard and cut two squares, about three by three or maybe a little bigger, but about make sure it's a square. So there's one. And they don't really even have to be the same size, but just pretty close. Um, you're going to take your uh, Take your foam and using one of these as a template, cut out a square, two squares um, that size. So, actually, you'll only need one. Never mind. Just one square. So, it should fit pretty well in between there. And you'll also need to, in the foam, cut a hole through the middle. Uh, you can just start it by ripping it about uh, need a hole about this size. But just make sure you don't get too close to the edge. It really doesn't have to be exact at all. Just no. Just like that. So now you're going to take your tin foil and just cut out two slight smaller squares. No, four squares, I'm sorry. Um, so it's just, I've got one, there's two. There's three and four. That'll work. I mean, so now what you're gonna do? Okay, you're done with your tin foil. You're also done with your cardboard and your foam. This is all you need. So at this point, this is all that you'll need. So now I've stripped the ends of both of my wires. I stripped them about an inch about an inch. And I've also heated up my hot glue gun. So, um, if you're not comfortable using a hot glue gun, um, you should get an adult to help you. They're really hot. But anyway, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take one end of your wire, and um, using a big piece and a small piece, if you accidentally cut two smaller pieces, like I just did, um, and going to put your wire down on the big piece, and going to put hot glue all around it. Then you're going to take your other piece and you're just going to use a piece of cardboard and just press it down. The reason I use the cardboard is because hot glue is hot. 
so I just don't want to burn myself on the tin foil because it is heat conductive. So now you're going to do exactly the same thing on the other piece of tin foil with the other wire. So now that I've got both of my wires done up like this, um, I'm going to take my piece of foam and on one side I'm just going to go all around it with hot glue. So you'll, you'll want to work pretty quickly um, so that your glue doesn't harden before you can put the thing down. Oh. Yeah, so hot glue's hot. That's what we just learned. And then you're going to want to flip it over and hot glue the other piece. Hot glue the other piece. A tin foil. And let's see the other side. So, there we go. So again, now that your hot glue is hard, you're going to, uh, um, first you're going to uh, push it in, in the middle. That'll just help a little bit. So, but you obviously don't want to make it so they're touching. That would defeat the whole purpose of the pressure plate. So, what you're going to do, you're going to take your hot glue, and you're going to go all around the edge of your foam. And then you're going to take your piece of cardboard and you're just going to push it right down, right there. So now on the, you're going to turn over to the other side and do the same thing. Take your hot glue, go all the way around, and then take your cardboard and just press it down. So here you go. This is the, this is the pressure plate. When you push down, it uh, um, it compresses the foam and the tin foil plates uh, press together and complete the circuit. So now you should unplug your hot glue gun, and uh, now I'm going to show you how it all turns out. I'm going to connect it up to a circuit. So I've got it wired up to some batteries and a light bulb, and so this just like, and it lights up just like that. So um. You can also use this as the type of pressure plate where when you take something off, it goes off. Uh, you just, um, I had a alarm once I made, you just put a resistor at, um, to the light bulb, uh, in a circuit to the light bulb, and a, uh, um, and just a straight circuit to here, so then it's like something's on it, it's pressed down. But then we take something off, it breaks this circuit, so it goes through the other circuit, and it uh, sets off the alarm. So, uh, thanks for watching, have a nice day, and yeah.